The formula to compute y hat looked kind of complicated. Is it difficult to work with in an explicit example? Well, only one way to find out. Let us try. So here we have an example. A w span of two vectors, u1 and u2, explicitly given. C, u1 and u2 are orthogonal to each other, so they form an orthogonal basis of w. And I have some y to do 6. And then the question is, find y hat and find z. So, how do we find y hat? We have an explicit formula, y hat equals the projection on u1 plus the projection on u2. Projection on u1, u1 in y equals 2 plus 2 equals 4 over u1 in u1, 1 plus 1 equals 2 times u1, 1, 1, 0 over there. And then u2 in y, 2 minus 2 plus 6 equals 6 over u2 in u2, 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3 times 1 minus 1, 1. So we have a 2 and a 2 over there, 2 plus 2 equals 4, 2 minus 2 equals 0, and 0 plus 2 equals 2. So, there we have our y hat. Now, let us find z2. We know y equals y hat plus z, so that means that z equals y minus y hat. We have already computed y hat, we know z, so we get 2 to 6 minus 4, 0, 2, it shields minus 2, a 2, and a 4. I remember, do not change this into 1, minus 1, 1, 2, or whatever. That's not the same. z equals minus 2, 2, 4. Let's check whether the answer is correct, to be completely sure. So y hat plus z has to equal y, so let's see. A y hat and a z, we get a 2, 2, 2 plus 4 equals 6 equals y, so that's indeed correct. Uh, it would be very stupid if this would be wrong, by the way, because we computed z like y minus y hat, but okay. And then check y hat in z, has to be 0, have to be orthogonal to each other. We get minus 8 plus 0 plus 8 equals 0. So that's fine, okay. So that's a check. How can we use this, for example? What's the interpretation? Well, interpretation between quotes. It's quite hard to draw the plane through u1 and u2 correctly, so I just pretended it was the xy plane, just to make the sketch a bit easier. And then the y is somewhere over there. The y hat is the vector in the plane closest to uh, y, to point p prime. So we can, for example, use the y hat to compute the distance from w to y. It's the same as the distance from p to p prime, which is the same as the length of z c where we have z, the length of z equals 16 plus 4 plus 4, 24, so the distance equals the square root of 24. So that's how, how you can use this.